Hey, good afternoon. Um, Jose Rocha here with 3H Engineering. I am on site a very challenging, very challenging foundation job that um, we're almost at completion with. This is a spread footing that we had to design because of the conditions of the site. It had a really high water table before Hurricane Harvey and after Hurricane Harvey it just got even worse to the point where drilled bell bottom piers were no longer a feasible option because of the amount of water coming up uh, so we went to isolated spread footing design so that we can uh, have some bearing capacity and a shallower foundation this is one of uh, 26 similar foundations or footings that we have here on site. Throughout the whole process, we've had to constantly be pumping out the water. And even now, we're, we're still pumping. 20, 24, 26 piers for this custom home property. It's uh, in a flood zone. The house is going to be elevated about uh, 12, 13 feet above the base of the elevation. And um, it's going to want, uh, per the client, it didn't want the timbers, the uh, wood piers, as you would say, like uh, beach style. She wanted a more sleek look with uh, steel columns. So this is our solution. Obviously a very expensive solution, but uh, nonetheless, you know, we give what the client wants. So originally the columns were square columns, but because of the ease of getting these sonnet tubes, uh, that's an acceptable acceptable uh, design modification it's not going to affect the capacity of this of the original square column in case you're wondering why there's giant uh, two-foot piers there so anyway we're here in Conroe area this is uh, Jose Rocha signing out So originally the house was designed by a licensed architect out of Virginia and as you can see it has a real modern style of architecture on the house. The structural on the other hand was designed by 3H Engineering and it went with isolated spread footings and as you can see it's 24. I think I might have said 26 in the video but it's 24. The job began about a week before Hurricane Harvey hit, you know, the Houston Conroe area. And before we went too far into the actual excavation, we decided to just mark the areas. Uh, we dug six inches into the uh, grade and we just left everything marked and say, we'll just resume after the rain. Let's see what happens. We didn't want to do any further excavations and risk the, you know, the hard rains that were forecasted to ruin any of our work. So I th we thought that was the best. Uh, here we got the lead contractor for the concrete surveying the, the land after the hurricane. And um, the ground is completely saturated. Uh, what we decided to do after the hurricane is to wait a couple of days, monitor it, and see if um, the ground dried up a little bit. The, um, we, we came to find out that the ground didn't end up drying as much as we would have liked. But with, um, you know, schedule pressures, uh, the client wanting to move forward, uh, we decided, I think it was maybe a week after Hurricane Harvey to go ahead and, and start the excavation. 
So we did. Uh, we went ahead and started the excavation, and things were going well, and um, no problems yet. What happened during the excavation is uh, we we hit some sand, and water started percolating up through the ground. And the weird thing was that it was only happening on some of the excavations and, and not on some. So we had half of it dry and half of it completely wet, as, as you can see here in this video. Um, it was very, very difficult uh, to try and dig in these kinds of conditions, but we needed to move forward, we needed to move ahead, and uh, we decided to start pumping the water out. Here we have an area that was being pumped out, and they see that there's literally a hole in the ground that is just pumping out water. Uh, that's water coming up out of the ground there. The, the hole, uh, the contractor there is just stating that uh, he could stick his hand in there and it's probably as, as, as deep as you can imagine. Um, so that, that was uh, unusual and even more unusual was that there was actual marine life coming out. We, we were able to pump out a, a shrimp, which was very interesting. The, um, once we got it dry enough and under control, uh, that hole was just a hole that we had to just be constantly pumping. Uh, that hole was the cause of a lot of the water. I mean, the 90% of the water was coming out of that hole. So as long as we can pump the water from that hole out, we were able to keep it under control and continue with the work. So that was decided uh, late in October to, in order to continue, in, in order to be moving forward. Um, you know, the bizarre thing about everything was that it was only on certain uh, excavations that we had water problems. Uh, I, I did some research, did some investigation, and the property ends up being right on the border of two different soil types. Um, not to mention that um, it's between two uh, bodies of water, which is not going to help. And then it's in a flood zone. And uh, you, know, you have all the elements working against you. We're, we're fighting nature pretty much. But um, you know, it's uh, anything's possible if you got uh, the right design and uh, the willingness to continue and uh, the funds to make it happen. So we're very happy that we were able to keep the water under control with constant pumps. We had maybe five, six pumps at one time, just trying to keep up with uh, the amount of water that was coming out. But at the end of the day, we were able to get it dry enough, get it compacted enough to where we're able to form, we're able to do all the reinforcement, and um, get everything in order. And when we resumed after after that last start, it, it took us maybe uh, four or five days from start to to pouring. Uh, so obviously the client was very happy that um, we were able to keep that water under control, move the project forward. And, and you know be done with this phase so uh, there was just a couple days ago I think uh, right now it's 28th of October I think we poured on the 25th uh, so once again uh, very challenging project in Conroe but uh, you know we're, we're a lot better for it and uh, happy for the experience and happy to be able to deliver for our clients give us a call we can help you out thanks